Long-Term Outcomes of Oscillatorostat in Cushing's Disease, a Link 3 Study Extension by Maria Flesheru et al. Background. Cushing's disease is where there's an excess secretion of adenocorticotropin hormone, also known as ACTH, from a pituitary tumour. This leads to increased cortisol from the adrenal glands. Comorbidities include emotional instability, severe muscle weakness and fatigue, depression, physical changes, cardiovascular disease and cognitive impairments. The first line treatment for this is usually surgery. Aims to investigate the long-term efficacy and tolerability of acilodrostat, a potent oral 11-beta-hydroxylase inhibitor for treating Cushing's disease. Methods. A total of 137 patients between the ages of 18 to 75 were enrolled. They have confirmed Cushing's disease determined by the mean urinary free cortisol being over 1.5 times the upper limit of normal at screening. 106 patients entered the extension phase and out of those, 72 completed it. Results. Mean urinary free cortisol remained under the upper limit of normal and oscillator average daily dose remained stable during the extension phase. 81.1% of patients who entered the extension had mean urinary free cortisol below the upper limit of normal at week 72. Improvements in physical manifestations of hypercortisolism were evident within 12 weeks. Conclusion. The findings of this study support acilodrostat as an effective and well-tolerated drug for patients with Cushing's. Cardiovascular or metabolic parameters, as well as patient-reported quality of life scores, also continue to improve with long-term treatment. To read the full article, please follow the link provided or scan the QR code.